everybody, Carol Lyles here from the State Champs Studio. And it's time for another episode of State Champs at the State Finals, presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. To learn more, visit ltu.edu. Let's throw it on over to Michigan State for the State Champs Softball Finals. Kicking things off with the Division IV State Final Game, defending State Champs Unionville Seabawing taking on Menden in East Lansing. USA got the scoring started when Layla Bolzman scores on a wild pitch. Menden quickly answers as Lauren Shables blasts a triple to right field, putting them ahead 2-1. After another Menden sack fly, the Hornets lead 3-1 until USA's Jenna Gremmel stepped into the box, knocking a three-run home run over that left field fence, giving them a 4-3 lead. USA would hold on to win this one 5-4. We hear from pitcher Riley Betson. All right, Riley, you're a state champion. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, it was just such a stressful moment, and I knew I had to stay calm for my team, and it, uh, it's just amazing that I was able to pull through for them. It definitely means more than anything, you know, having this dream since I was a little kid, like the ones in the stands, it just means it's unbelievable. Moving on ahead to the Division III state final game, we had Standish Sterling taking on Ottawa Lake Whiteford in what was an absolute pitcher's duel. Whiteford pitcher and finalist for softball player of the year, Unity Nelson, kept the Panthers scoreless until the bottom of the seventh inning when Macy Fagan sends a ball deep to left field, almost hitting the wall, driving in that winning and only run of the game. I mean, talk about a nail biter. Congratulations to the Panthers of Standish Sterling, the Division III state champions. Next up in the Division II state final game, it was Vicksburg taking on Gaylord. And the excitement in this one started off early. I mean, bottom of the first inning, Gaylord attempts a suicide squeeze, but are unsuccessful as Vicksburg third baseman Delaney Monroe makes a very heads up play tossing out that runner at home, keeping it to a 0-0 game. Moving ahead to the bottom of the third inning, Gaylord gets on the board first with a two-run shot from senior Alexis Kozlowski. Gaylord leads 2-0. Fourth inning, Vicksburg cuts that lead to one on a fielder's choice, but Gaylord tacked on three more runs in the sixth with RBIs from Alexis Shepard and Alexis Kozlowski. Jumping ahead to that seventh inning, Vicksburg junior Peyton Smith Decided this game needs a little last minute excitement. She sends a solo shot out of the ballpark, but that last minute excitement wasn't enough. Gaylord held on to win this one, eight to three. We have made it to the Division I state finals game where we had Heartland taking on Woodhaven. It was Heartland who got on the scoreboard first and never really looked back. Riley Phillips got the scoring started as she blasted a triple to left center field, putting the Eagles ahead two to nothing. LTU commit Abby Gardner had two hits on the day, a shot right back up the middle and a double to the right field fence. On the mound for Heartland, softball player of the year finalist Kylie Swartgos was absolutely lights out, recording 13 strikeouts and allowing just one run in seven innings. This is Heartland's first softball state title since 1996. We hear from senior pitcher Kylie Swartgos. Kylie, you're a state champion. What's going through your mind right now? I don't even know how to feel. I mean, honestly, just excitement. Super excited to be here and with my team and just to bring it home. I mean, it's crazy. Well, I was able to talk to your mom in the stands and she was a nervous wreck, but not you. You were cool, calm, collected the whole game, 13 strikeouts. How were you able to manage that pressure on such a big stage? I mean, honestly, I was about to throw up before the beginning of the game. I was freaking out. But I mean, once I got in there and through the first inning, I was like, you know what, we got this. You know, my team, they're a huge support behind my back. They always make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing and staying calm. So honestly, it's just going up there and knowing that we can do it. Oh my gosh, I, it's just ex it's so exciting. I mean, Heartland softball is just such a legacy and it's such a family that being able to bring it home for the first time in a really long time is it's just incredible. Well, congratulations to all of our newly named state champions. And that wraps up this episode of State Champs at the State Finals. Presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic, visit ltu.edu. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud sponsor of the MHSAA.
the Detroit Athletic Club Foundation Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards, Turn Into Softball. Experience Turn Into Softball, where the mission to build champions both on and off the field.